hello everyone uh, welcome to this new video so in this today's video we'll be solving the problem distribute candies in a binary tree so this is a hard level question and is the problem of the day on geeks for geeks today so let us go to the question now uh, given a binary tree with n nodes in which each node value represents number of candies present at that node okay so in one move one may choose two adjacent nodes and move only one candy from one node to another so the move may be from parent to child or from child to parent so the task is to find the number of moves required such that every node has exactly one node uh, one candy okay so at the end of the day every node must only have one candy so note that test cases are framed such that it's always possible to achieve a configuration in which every node has exactly one candy after some moves okay so there will be no test case where you cannot frame the solution or frame the configuration. So all the test cases are like that. Key whenever you are you know shuffling the candies, you will finally end up in such a point of uh, you know uh, uh, configuration that each and every node will have only exactly one candy. Okay. So these are some of the examples given. We'll see the, them in brief. And this is expected time complexity O of n and oxidative spaces O of i of tree and we'll be following the same solution. Okay. And the constraints are n goes up to 10 power 4 and value of each node goes up to 10 power 4. So <clears throat> let us understand the you know question in brief. Uh, so let us you know first take the examples so that are that were given. So the, this one this is one of the example that was given 3 0 0. Okay. So you could see this is the parent node. So it has three uh, as the value. So that means it has three candies and the child has zero. That means it has no candy. And even the right child has zero. Uh, so it has it, it is it does not have any candy as well. So from three, if you can just give one to here and from this three itself, if you can give one more to here, you'll be finally ending up with this configuration one, one, one right so this is the configuration we'll be ending up with and this is what we are actually needed uh, we actually want isn't it so one in each and every node so how many steps did you take to complete this so this is one step this is one step to total two steps right total two steps so similarly what if the configuration initial configuration was like this so like uh, it is zero here and it is three here and it is zero year so how would you you know do the transfer uh, transaction so from this three you first uh, transfer two chocolates two candies and from this two you transfer one chocolate so it's basically so finally you'll be ending up with this configuration itself one 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 but the number of you know steps that you're going to take is basically three total equal to three so this is the answer that has been given in the test cases as well. So what did we actually do from three? Okay, from this three, we have actually transferred one chocolate and that one chocolate went on to this fellow. And again, we have transferred one chocolate. So totally we have, we have done three transactions. Okay, totally three transactions. So that is the reason the answer is uh, three. So we'll just erase this first, uh, erase all these things. Uh, I hope you people have understood what are they trying to ask and what is the output that we need to give. Now we will actually frame the approach. So what would be our approach to solve this particular question? Okay. So um, basically the thing is, um, uh, let us take a scenario. Okay. Let us take a scenario of our country itself. Okay. So we have prime minister. Okay. Sri Narendra Modi ji. I'll be using... Uh, NM okay Narendra Modi ji and we have our finance minister okay Nirmala Sita Raman ji so NS okay and we have our state ministers okay state uh, chief minister uh, chief ministers it might be like we have total uh, 29 states so we can have 29 chief ministers okay so this is like state state minister in the sense I'll be putting it as chief ministers okay so we have several chief ministers so uh, how does this overall financial transaction take place at our country so basically narendra modi ji gives a task to sitaraman ji so what is the task uh, that has been allocated to find the profit from each state okay to find the profit from each state so there are 29 states in total okay there are 29 states in total and get the profit from each state okay get the list of profit from each state so there will be a memo uh, paper a document like this okay there is a document like this so there are only two columns here what is the column state name okay state name 
and the profit they generated okay profit they generated let us assume on an year basis okay uh, so it might be like andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu so their profits okay so this is the list that uh, narendra modi ji has asked nirmala sitaraman to collect and curate okay now what she does is she pass, uh, she makes a document she'll make a document like this and she'll give the access to all the chief ministers to fill that okay to their respective states uh, profit so one of the chief minister like let us assume andhra pradesh state itself let us assume the profit they have mentioned is minus 10000 okay minus 10000 now nirmala sitaraman calls to chief minister of andhra pradesh and ask what do you mean by minus 10000 i have asked you to fill the profit right i have asked you to fill the profit but you have filled minus 10000 what do you mean by that so that means then chief minister tells that minus 10000 means basically we are at a debt or loss of 10000 crores okay so let us assume these are all in crores okay so we are not debt in lo- debt of law uh, or loss of 10000 crores okay that is our mm, intention when we write minus 10000 because you did not mention any column like loss you have just mentioned a column for profit so that's the reason we have put minus so when we put minus that means we are at a loss okay so that is what we are trying to convey you we are at a loss of 10000 crores so that is the thing it uh, cm conveys to Nir- nirmala sitaraman ji okay now this is all fine now what happens is so now let us assume tamil nadu cm has reported a profit of 10000 crores okay plus 10000 plus 10000 now what happens is PM Narendra Modi sees that Andhra Pradesh is having is making a loss okay is making a loss now he needs to give some money he needs to give some money to Andhra Pradesh so what he can do if he has any money with him if he if central has any money that he will donate to Andhra Pradesh that he will give as a loan or whatever the profits the other th- other state is actually generating from that he will take and he will give to the Andhra Pradesh isn't it from if let us assume central does not have any money okay central does not have any money with them then what does that do uh, central takes money from the other states okay uh, tamil nadu is generating a profit of 10000 crores so they will take 10000 crores from tamil nadu take that profits and put that to ap okay give that to ap so that is how the transaction goes in reality it does happen like that or not i don't know i have just taken the example okay so uh, so it, it like this donation happens this uh, transaction happens similarly why have i explained all these things is uh, because let us assume you have a tree like this okay you have a tree like this you have tree like this let us assume this fellow is making a loss this fellow is making a loss and this fellow is making a profit okay this fellow is making a profit if this parent has some you know enough chocolates like in this case so loss in the sense he does not have one chocolate he has less than one chocolate maybe zero or uh, yeah zero only case because they cannot have negative so let us assume this fellow has only zero, zero chocolates then how many does he need mine uh, he needs one so he will put it like i need minus one i mean i need one so the profit like when this you know let us assume this is uh, central okay this is central or narendra modi so this is the state okay this is the state so so when he asks for the profit from that particular state he tells minus 1 this particular uh, uh, gives a res- uh, node gives a response of minus 1 so what can we understand from response of minus 1 that means this fellow is actually ne- in need of one chocolate okay in need of one chocolate similarly this fellow will be as he is making a profit so he might be having two chocolates or three chocolates or four maybe whatever it is so he'll be putting as plus okay plus or something like uh, like plus uh, one or plus 2 whatever depending upon the number of candies he has so what will central do if he has any number of chocolates okay more than one that he'll be donating to this particular fellow that that the transaction will happen like this if he does not have if the central does not have then they will take from here to central and from central to here that is the case happened in this case right so here zero Three zero. What happened first? The first transaction would be like this. So it would be one, two, one. Okay, uh, sorry, zero. And then the transaction would be like two zero one. Okay, so this one has been transformed here. And now what is the other transaction? So one one. one so this particular uh, from this two you'll be uh, uh, you're taking one chocolate and we'll be putting it to the central so that is how the transaction has happened so if the central do not have the money okay of the parent node does not have enough chocolates you'll the parent will be taking from its child node and giving the chocolates to the other child node if the parent has enough child enough chocolates then he, he, the from that parent only it will be the chocolates will be transferred to the child uh, uh, node who is whoever is it uh, in need of it 
so how do you calculate this particular thing okay i hope you people have understood so basically it's all about the number of transactions okay so if you carefully observe in this particular example itself the number of transactions that took place is three isn't it the number of transactions that took place is three how did we come to that conclusion so this fellow will be telling i i need only one chocolate i need only one chocolate the excess that i have is plus two okay access that i have is plus two and this fellow will be saying i need one chocolate but i am in deficient of one chocolate isn't it i am deficient of one chocolate i need one chocolate i need one chocolate okay i need one chocolate that is what this fellow will be saying and this fellow will be saying i have three chocolates with me already i need only one chocolate so i'll be giving off two i'll be giving off two that is my extra profit and this fellow say, will be saying i have uh, one chocolate deficient so my profit is minus one this fellow profit is minus one okay this fellow profit is minus one this fellow profit is plus two this fellow profit is plus two now coming to this so he'll be he'll be saying whatever the profit it uh, has in its left child what Whatever the profit it has in right side, he will add them up. So that is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. The absolute values, okay, 2 plus 1 equal to 3. Why did we add them up? Why did we take that? Because there are totally 3 transactions happening. What are those transactions happening? So plus 2 in the sense, so he will be putting one, he will be taking one chocolate, uh, okay, one, he uh, will be taking one chocolate and he will be transferring that to this fellow and also after transferring this fellow will be having again 0. So the central will always uh, will again have zero. Again, he need to take one more chocolate, right? So basically the transactions are what happening. That number of transactions are basically the number of excessive chocolates. Okay. Now, wherever the transaction is happening, that is where the uh, profit is being generated. Either it is positive or negative. Wherever there is a profit is generated, either except zero. If, if its profit is not equal to zero, that means there is some transaction that's going to happen transaction that's going to be happen isn't it if profit is not equal to zero that means there is some transaction that's going to happen so that transaction is basically the absolute value of the uh, profit only so here plus two here plus uh, here minus one so what is the absolute value two plus one that's actually equal to three so totally three transactions going to happen one transaction might be like taking and another transaction uh, transaction might be giving whatever it is we are we do not care we just need the total number of transactions okay so that is what we are in need of so what Whatever it is so either it might be donating or receiving we do not need explicitly how many donations are happening and how many your know, borrowings are happening we only need what are the total number of transactions that are taking place that is basically nothing but the you know the profits that are being generated so wherever there is a place of profit that means that is the exact magnitude the absolute magnitude will be resulting in the particular uh, you know number of transactions okay that will be added to the number of transactions that is what happening in every case so this example why i have given this example is you will understand what is the significance of profit okay so profit negative or positive whatever it is so basically it is going to you know uh, finally uh, uh, like contribute to the value of the number of contributions that is what it's an important thing to be remembered okay so um, that's it so the same thing uh, if you can see in the code as well so the same thing I've put here so first one I have taken a global variable answer to be zero and then I've calculated the left profit and then I've calculated the right profit so what are these uh, actually telling left profit and right profit so that is uh, like if you are talking about a particular child okay so if you are talking about a particular child I mean particular node let us assume so I'll be drawing a tree like this so I'll be drawing a tree like this now when I'm actually asking this fellow okay when I'm actually asking this fellow what is the profit of yours what is the profit of your net profit of yours so he'll be asking it's left it left he'll be asking it is right and then you'll come to a conclusion like how much profit is he having so depending upon the left and right so left let us assume he has two and this fellow has zero and this fellow has uh, one so he'll be saying that left has a profit of plus one okay and this fellow right has a profit of minus one so basically one plus one that's actually equal to two right one plus one so i'll just write this one plus one that's actually equal to two that is the profit from both the sides and from my my profit my profit is basically so two uh, this uh, plus one minus one that's actually equal to two that's only two because i already have one with me i have already have one with me so the only transaction that is going to happen is from my one i'll be giving to this one this is one transaction and from two i'll be taking another one so that is the only transaction so from this overall body we have only true transaction that is what it meant okay so basically what you're doing your value your root value your root value root value plus left left profit left profit plus right profit right profit minus one minus one okay 
minus 1. What is this minus 1? Because 1 you need to keep it with yourself, isn't it? 1 you need to keep it with yourself. You do not need to calculate that as a transaction. Okay. 1 you will be putting it to yourself. That is for sure. So that is the reason we are only, we are subtracting 1. Okay. So basically what are all the transactions that are going to happen? That is the profit that is being generated, right? So that is what I have, uh, you know, mentioned here. So answer plus equal to absolute of uh, Okay, answer plus equal to absolute of left profit plus right, uh, right profit. These are the transactions. Okay, so these are the transactions, transactions, transactions and return root key plus left root, uh, left profit plus right profit minus one. Okay, so this is basically uh, the final thing that you're going to return uh, at each and every no note. This is the total profit. Okay, profit. So profit, profit. So and finally return answer so this is a global value that uh, variable that we have declared so wherever there is a place of transactions that are happening wherever the transactions are happening whether it may be donations or contributions i mean uh, or borrowings whatever it is we'll be calculating that to be a part of transaction the absolute values okay so that is what we have added to the answer and finally we have written the answer and the time complexity is because we are visiting each and every node it is o of n and the stack space is o of height of the tree right because we are going to the depth of the tree so that's the reason o of height of the tree right so that's it that is the t, uh, time complexity and space complexity i hope people have understood uh, to be honest it's like moderate level problem you could easily solve it if you can you know try solving this using a pen and paper you will get a much better idea so what i'm actually trying to uh, you know convey so I hope you have understood all the things that I've told you. If not, please watch the video once again. The essence of profit, either it might be positive or negative. How is it actually contributing to the number of transactions? That is very important. Okay. So if you can understand that thing, I, I like you are almost done solving this question. Okay. So just taking this, this example is enough. This example is enough. This example is more than enough to get an idea. So if there, there is three chocolates here and there are zero and zero here. How are we ending up getting three uh, transactions in total? Because there is a three profit of uh, three that's being generated. Okay. So minus one year and plus two year. Totally there's a profit of plus three. Profit of plus three in the sense. Uh, pro profit of three. Okay. Profit of three in the sense. That means there is a transaction. Number of transactions that are going to happen is three. Okay. So that is the main basic, you know, uh, uh, intention behind uh, writing all these things. So that's it guys for today's video. And for your reference course in Java, Python, C++ that are there in the description please go through them and also I've created a whatsapp channel for you know uh, off campus opportunities if you are in need of those opportunities you can consider joining that particular channel uh, thank you for watching this video stay tuned